Hello viewers and welcome to another video. This is part 4 of some previous videos, so if you guys haven't watched it before, please click on the links below in the description before continuing with this one. Now, the, now let's just continue the instructions. Now, the instructions said to modify the spreadsheet to reflect the following. So based on the modifications to be made here, we we'll would make our modifications and we we'll restore our employee information. So to show such modifications, we would copy the pre the pre the, the data on the employees and pick and put it in a separate spreadsheet and make the modifications there. So we'll be able to see the modifications when we're finished with this. So first thing we're going to do we're going to open our Excel And we're going to copy elect election one, where where the employees are employees information are stored. Paste it in a separate spreadsheet, and then we'll begin with the instructions or the modifications we made. So the non-taxable portion has been changed 60% of the basic pay. So all we have to do now we we just change. This from 35% to 60%. So, because of the use of keys, we made it, e um, it is easier for us to make our modifications because this, the formulas down here are mapped onto the keys. So, anything that changes up here. The values change down here as well. So I'll so we we'll just click enter and there. As you can see, the values have changed down here. Next, they said the value added tax and the NDFD or the National Development Fund deductions values were placed. Correct them. National Development Fund deduction is twelve percent. And value added tax is 8%. So the NDFD is now 12%, and before it was 7%. So click here and there, value has changed again. And now the VAT is 7%. Here, sorry, 8%. Here, so now they said. The basic pay of the overseers has decreased to 5,100. So the overseer has now changed from 5,900 to 5,100. And there we go. This is what you're supposed to have after the modifications are finished so far. So you're supposed to have these values should have. 5100 for the overseer, 60% for the non taxable, 8% for the VAT, and 12% for the NDFD. So, next, they said to insert the, two, the following two employees in the Church of San, Sa Santiago section. So, in this section, we're going to insert obviously these two employees into the Church of Santiago section. So Jevan Gordon name name is Jevan Gordon sorry and O and Roll is overseer. Tamaya Paul name and role is polling clerk. So all we have to do now is just insert two cell two rows sorry and then we in, we input our information manually. So we're gonna put Born here, Javon, and his role is overseer, and then Kamai Power role is call clerk, Kamai Power. So 
this is what you're supposed to have as information this is what we're supposed to input and then just gonna left align this and then I'll just place in the formulas here as you can see there's no formulas here so I'm going to do just copy the formula and paste it here there you go this is what we're supposed to have so far it's the, the code the, the over so you're yeah, supposed to be 5100 the non-taxable 60%, VAT 8%, NDFD 12%, and we're supposed to input two of these employees into the Church of Santiago section and put in the values here, the formulas here. So thank you guys for watching another video. Please like and subscribe and comment if there's anything that you want to ask me about.